YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Duke back here from SportsGamers.com, and in today's Madden 23 tip video, I'm gonna break down a universal tip that will greatly improve your defense. You can use this no matter what team you use. It's something that you can do from a lot of playbooks. It's just very effective, and you're definitely gonna want to add it into your game. Looking for Madden 23 Ultimate Team coins? AOEAH.com is the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market. Click the link in the description and use coupon code Sports for three percent off your order. So guys, this is something that I'm personally running from Dime Normal out of the Washington Redskins defensive playbook. Like I said, you can find it in others, but everybody asks me, every video, what playbook, what playbook? Well, in this video, I'm in the Redskins, all right? Or the Commanders. I always say Redskins, I'm just so used to it, but I guess it's now the Commanders. So, as you guys know, this year, a lot of people are trying to aggressive catch you in the seams, um, you know, throwing quick passes, you know, that type of stuff. So... Something that is very, very effective at allowing you to disguise your defense, defend the seams, and just really mix up what you're doing is, a, is so simple, it's going to make a huge difference, is utilizing the play I'm about to show you out of the dime normal, the double safety blitz. So let me kind of just show you guys what this can do for your game. And as I'm doing that, guys, if you enjoy my content, remember, I do free Madden 23 tip videos, I do gameplays, I do news. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Drop us a like on the video, comment, you can literally comment anything you want, whether it just be one word, an emoji, literally anything will help me, and uh, let's just get right back into it. Oh, without further ado, let's get into the tip here, guys. So, when you come out in this double safety blitz, you're going to notice that the safeties, they, they just come down in the box, they're about five yards off the line of scrimmage. This is something I've been doing for years, I've made videos about this before, people have caught on and a lot of other people are starting to do this too after I was the first one to kind of bring this to light years ago and the reason why this is so effective is is there's three main reasons first of all having your safeties in the box like this you can audible around say you want to audible to cover four quarters notice the safety stay in the box you want to audible to cover three safeties are in the box Cover two man. Safety's in the box. So basically, you can audible to many other defenses. The safety stay in the box. So it's kind of like you're able to run a lot of different plays from the same look. That's going to be disguising your intentions on defense. The offense won't know what to expect. So that's number one. Number two, guys, one of the things that is pretty effective every single year in Madden, especially this year, I'd say this year more than most honestly, is just throwing to the seams from these compressed formations. Now, this year with the high ball and the aggressive catch, it's, it's kind of even ramped up even more. So that's definitely something you have to worry about a lot. And, you know, when you have these safeties down in the box like this, if someone just tries to quick throw a seam um, like this, because the safety is, you know, immediately in the box, like, he's right there, right? He Looking to become a better Madden player and win more games? Check out SportsGamers.com. I built SportsGamers.com from the ground up to give you the best Madden tips Best Madden ebooks, all at the best price, bar none. We have a VIP membership that gives you access to the entire site, every ebook, and every tip we release all year long for only $24.99. Click the link in the description. I've also pinned it in the comments and use coupon code DUKE for 10% off your order. He's no longer 10, 15 yards off the ball. Now, you know, he can break it up himself, but worst case in a defense like this, you're going to probably bring an extra defender into the play because look, look, he's just directly in the box. That's going to be a broken up pass the majority of the time. So then it kind of takes away those quick throws in the seams that a lot of people like to do also. Um, another great thing about this is the run defense. So having these safeties down in the box, just five yards off the line of scrimmage, it's going to help you defend the run a lot. So say someone wants to eyeball to say a run play, let's just do quick pace. Um, you're going to notice that your safeties are going to be able to have much more of an effect on the run. Now, granted, just so you guys know, when your safeties are either in the cover four uh, assignment or a cover zero assignment, you know, they're pretty much going to react and run immediately much faster than, say, if they were like in a, uh, any other really assignment, really like a cover two, cover three, whatever. When they're in these quarter zones and then the cover zero plays, they're going to react and run pretty much immediately. But still, no matter what you're in, having your safeties in the box... You know, definitely is going to be big for you guys. Because you can see, I mean, I actually should have made that tackle. I missed it. But because I had my safeties in the box, I mean, this is just such a loaded box to try to run the ball on. Even though I missed the tackle I should have made. You guys can see, look at the safeties. They're, they're immediately on the line of scrimmage. And not only that, they're reacting to run immediately. So even though I missed, I mean, 
you guys see this? Not really anywhere to go. I mean, the only chance he would have had here is if he tried to break it out wide and nobody shed it. He'd have to hold those blocks on the edge the whole time. But you see number 31. I think that was 31, yeah. 31 tried to make a tackle because he was already there. Then someone shed it. And they were able to, you know, clean this up for basically nothing. So the Rundy also is another huge, huge, huge thing about this. You know, it's going to be a lot harder to run the ball on us, you know, when we have these safeties in the box. Look, made the play right there. Basically got nothing. So one thing about this is you're going to have to make sure that when you're running this, that obviously you set the plays you want to run as your audibles. So for me, I got cover two man. I got DB blitz zero, cover three buzz press, and cover four quarters. Reason why I have these audibles set is I like running match defense this year. I prefer quarters over palms right now. I like running, if I'm going to run cover three, I like the cover threes with the safety in the hook zone versus in the flat. This gives me more versatility for the way I like to play defense. Um, I definitely like to run my cover zero blitzes too. And also I do like cover two man if I want to play kind of a more cover style man with some different shading. So I kind of got a little bit of everything I like to do. Not huge on cover two this year unless I'm running like dollar with the DB fire two cover two blitz. So that's what I like to do. But any plays you want in your audibles, I mean, you can go ahead and kind of you know change those around as you wish. Um, you do need to put your coaching adjustment setting for your zone coverage to match. Uh, this is a next gen thing. They made it so that you have got to not only pick a match play, but if you want them to play match, you have to have to turn your zone coverage setting to match because if it's on the fault, they still won't play match. That's not something you have to do if you're still like playing on the older systems like PS4 or whatever. That's not in the game for that, so don't even worry about that. This is only if you're playing on the newer systems like PS5 or the new Xbox. So, getting back to it, if we go back to the double safety blitz, just to kind of show it against some other stuff as well, like we can show it against Bunch. You know, one of the more common plays people will try to run at you is this verticals. So, as you guys can see here, having these safeties in the box, it's going to make it a lot harder for them to simply come out here and you know chuck verticals at you now another thing i do want to mention is if you wanted to you could individually press these outside corners uh to get them directly on the line i wouldn't really like one thing a lot of people say is well what about just pinching your entire defense um i mean you could do that if you wanted to but then you see it could cause your safeties to move back which you don't really want that kind of defeats the purpose so if I want my corners to be um, backed up, what I'm going to do, I'm sorry, not backed up, but pressed up. What I'm going to do is a, I'm going to individually press them. And you guys can see my guys are just jumping around like crazy because I've done too much. I did too many adjustments. So that's why, like I said, you got to kind of be careful about that. But um, yeah, so when they come in the box, you audible, right? So at this point, if you want them individually to be pressed, what do you have to do? And I didn't even press right there. It's like my controller is doing things I'm not telling it to do. Like, I guess I probably need a new second controller. <laughs> but to individually press, this is how you do it. So you hit coverage audible, which is either triangle or Y. Then you hit the individual button right here. You see it on the screen for me, that's X. Then you bring up the icon of the receiver you want that DB to press up on. So I'd recommend doing that on both of the outside receivers. So that's either circle or square, and then you just sit down on the right analog stick and you can repeat it. So like once you get the hang of that, it's, it's pretty fast to do, as you guys can see. I mean, I can do that in a second or two max. I'm just trying to explain it. So again, now I'm in the cover four quarters. I can do the exact same thing. Bam, bam, bam. See, very quick, right? Guys, this is gonna give you, as you can see here, you can change up the coverage on the fly. You can press. I mean, you can stop the run. You can disguise what you're doing. You can bring blitzes. I mean, honestly, the world is at your fingertips with this setup, man. You can really do whatever you want very effectively. Once they're in the box like this, by the way, you can easily just reset it, move them around, do whatever you want. You could put them, I mean, if you're going to stay in this play, you could put them in zones. You could do just an all-out, basically, four-man rush, coverage defense like this. You can do whatever you want. The whole thing here is this gives you way more flexibility on defense. Again, the three main points are you can disguise your defense. You can run any look you want with the safeties in the box, which can you can allow yourself to either coverage them out, bring some pressure with them, audible to the other defenses completely. But not only that, the other two advantages is you're going to be able to stop those quick throws in the seams a lot better. Um, and also you're going to have way better run defense from a dime personnel. So this is just an easy general global tip. 
universal, really, that anybody can apply to their game. The Dime Normal formation has this play, and Dime Normal is in a lot of defensive playbooks. It's not just in the playbook I'm in here. It's in a lot of them. So definitely something I'd recommend you guys doing, checking out. Until next time, it's Duke, and I'm